Now it's time to talk about ARDS and to understand exactly what happened in acute respiratory distress syndrome. And again, here I'm not going to go over definition and how it happens, the etiology of that. Uh, I'm just going to focus at the alveolar level what, what does happen exactly and how that affect our mechanical ventilation strategy. But this is a normal uh, alveolus here and this is the interstitium the green space here and this is the capillary normally this alveolus is a dry has no fluid and here we have little fluid and the reason because the intravascular space reserve preserve the proteins which increase the enchoic pressure so only small amount of fluid comes here or leak here that's one thing and the other thing also if there is any extra fluids the lymphatics will get it back to circulation and the third thing which is very important is the epithelium here and the endothelium here are intact so the leak is very minimal because of these um things the alveolus remain dry and there is little fluid in the interstitium and the oxygenation is fine now once we get a lung injury like what happens in ARDS or inflammation and again I'm not gonna go over the cytokines and all of this but eventually what happens is you see the alveoli the epithelium now it's becoming leaky the same thing for the capillaries that means the intravascular protein uh, will leave the circulation and this will lead to decrease in cardiac pressure that means the fluids will leak in large amount into the interstitium and then into the alveoli because the lymphatics cannot really handle the large amount of fluids. So what we end up with is fluids, large amount of fluids in the interstitium and inside the alveolus. And depends how much fluid into the alveolus. That means less, less space for tidal volume. So that's one type. The alveolus will be filled with the fluid. So that's ex that's mainly what happened in a ARDS. And because of this, if the air cannot get into the alveolar because the fluid it acts as if it's a telectatic alveolus, right? Because no air gets in. Also, another problem that the alveolus itself because of all this may become atelectatic like this let me just put it and all of this means there is less healthy alveoli and less space for tidal volume let's continue this to be continued next video